from on top where I'm looking really at two chokes. One is like a brick cap choke and the other is like a baseball bat grip choke. There's a few extra add-ons and setups, but they're basically the only two we're doing. The first one is a very fundamental one where I'm on knee ride, I'm gripping here and pulling up, left, um, right hand pulling up, left thumb goes in, and I'm just dropping that down, 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 like that. I, I could, I'll release the grip and show, but I could bring all the way down, I could have come down, use my leverage, that's fine. But the basic mechanics of the choke is pulling, and then pushing for that choke. Okay, that's our, our first choke. The next one we're looking at is our left hand under, thumb in, and I'm just bringing my right hand across to get um, four fingers in. So this is our baseball bat style choke where hands are nice and close together, I can get the choke. And then if I come around here, put my head So closer the hands are the better. Problem with that choke is quite often here I've got this, he knows it's coming, so he grabs my hand, and, and, and now I can't get it. So, the way I like to teach this is starting around this side, where I've got my thumb in. So I thumb out, four fingers in. This is my start position here. It's a very um, unthreatening grip, and it's the hard to get grip first. So from here, I want side control. Now I step and come around. Now I've got that grip first. So I've got that uh, first grip. I've got to get this second grip is a little, it's hard for him to stop as I come under and also sometimes it's very tight so I just kind of flick my fingers out like that so I'm just opening up my, my fingers so it allows me to come under and get that thumb in then once again I'm just doing that same finish so it's still a baseball that choke but it's starting with a non-threatening grip and the next choke I want to look at is whenever the key's out and I'm on side control I'm doing a similar thing but I'm feeding my key across now if he's framing up I'm waiting for the frame, I could pass through, grab my own lapel. I like to put my right hand on the hip and sprawl out for this one. Sprawling out, sprawling out, lift my elbow up. I, I may need to come up here like this, but it works well being sprawled out. I feel like this is a high percentage one and a low risk one. I really, really like this one. And the last one is if we're here and he starts to dig under for an under with it here, I'm just gonna scoop under. My right hand is gripping on the back of the lapel. I'm going back to our first submission, the bread cutter, where my thumb is in. For me, this is really hard to him to stop once I'm in this position and get that choke. If, however, he's defending against that choke really well, my right hand will slide back down just to the tricep. I'll grab a hunk of the key at the tricep. From here, slide my right and knee in, left leg over. And now I'm sitting back, bringing that knee up for a really, really tight arm bar. So this is our, our progression of attacks on top. Once again, it's just kind of two submissions as far as two chokes go. You've got that bread cutter and the baseball back grip, but we're looking at a few different setups. Time.